and then you bring it around to your homes and communities because ideally if they're not getting at home then we're helping them go to the school and it spreads and this doesn't happen over the course of the year um this happened this is you know continuous and it happens all the time but i can tell you that you know we had in some interviews and focus groups last year a couple of my sixth grade students last year would in interviews and say oh yeah we learned belly breathing and then i went home and i taught my little brother how to belly breathe because he was getting stressed out all the time so that's just an example of how kids start to bring it into their own lives and that is the ultimate goal that they can manage it in school and they can they can bring it outside of them as well any questions about this mm -hmm. was there a significance behind the color coding Categories? Um, I would say that uh, the orange ones are more like internal, like those are things that you have to manage on your own. Uh, the green social awareness and relationship have to do with your interactions with the outside world. And then, you know, responsible decision making is kind of like all of those put together. If you're, you have to constantly make the decision about how you're going to interact with someone, about how you're going to manage your emotions, about you know, you're going to go to class because you know in the long term it's going to help you graduate, even though in the moment you don't want to go to class. <laughs> yeah, good question. I never even had that question. Yeah, a very good off the cuff answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it makes sense when you think about it. Um, but that's kind of how, how it works. Yeah. So, with that said, and feel free to write down questions, keep track of them, we'll come back to this. Um, we're going to dive into a little bit of the model lesson, and I think we have until 4.30. Uh, so, we're going to skip over some parts, but, um, and what I'll do is, because you guys are instructors, a lot of this, you're instructors, you're going to be teaching this, um, you know, we want, I believe in, in a lot of what we believe at Urban Assembly and in social emotional learning work is that you have to experience what you're, you have to experience what you're asking your students to do because this isn't work that's just for kids. This is work for all of us. And it's, I mean, I would say as um, teachers, the self-management and self-awareness one, I'll say in my experience was the most relevant. Um, taking care of yourself um, and not letting your frustration and anger depress you. But anyway, the point is that I would like you guys to experience this as students, um, but also I'm going to bring in some context around like the, you know, this is how you can use it as we go along. 